Hi Marie here again. Come to share with you a couple of little journals that I've just uh, finished yesterday. Um, they're both very similar. When I when I made um, a sewing theme journal last week, I just really like the um, the cover. So I've done the fabric cover on these, but they're not they're not sewing themed. But I did do a a fabric cover. So I've got two here and. Um, Calling this one Vintage Ladies and this one Little Misses. Uh, this Little Misses one came about because um, I used this fabric, it's like a linen fabric, and it had, um, it's like kind of a postal theme, and then it's got a, an image of a little girl reading some, something in the paper or something. Um, and that, because I only had scraps of the material, that went. That would only go round the back, so I cut another one out and um, and um, padded it and appliqued it on the front. And I've put um, the fabric and a layer of like a um, kind of like a, a very thin fleece and some card on the other side. So it's like three layers: fabric, fleece, and uh, some some card stock. It's fastened with some seam binding, which I've uh, fixed onto the spine, and I'll also cover in the spine is this piece of. Um, I think this is from like a a collar or something like that, some kind of a lace collar. Let's cut that from there, and I've got a little bit of a lace trim on the on here as well. It's all sewn around. I've left uh, the frayed edges. Just that way. On the inside, I say there's some cardstock on the inside, and then across the centre of the where the signatures go, I've put uh, a piece of fabric and trimmed it with some lace, and that forms two pockets on the back and the front. So I say I've called this one Little Misses, so it features a lot of um, pictures of these little vintage little girls. I'm sure you've all seen these images before. Um, so yeah, there's two, two in the front there, and it contains a mix of papers. There's some of my vintage ledger paper, some craft paper. Um, this is an off cut. I think this paper's from uh, Shabby Cottage Studio. Some lined paper. This is some of Sagita's coffee stains paper, and again, this is Shabby Cottage Studio. Here I've got a fabric fabric ruffle which serves as a, a tuck spot. I've just got a little uh, kind of a bookmark image in there. Some lined paper, squared paper, all the papers tea dyed. Manuscript paper, some plain paper, lined paper, and there's more of my vintage ledger paper in the centre. And also in the centre is a this is an Artie Mays envelope, and in there I've got a Alice in Wonderland journaling card. I think that's from Calico Collage, that one. And again, lined paper, plain paper, manuscript paper. Another little tuck spot with a little vintage little girl. Another tuck spot, and again I've got another Alice in Wonderland journaling card and a little image there of a little girl having a having a little uh, tea party with her dog and her doll. Uh, some shabby cottage studio, Sagita's coffee stains. And the same again, craft card. And the back of the signature is more of the ledger paper. So there's two signatures. There's probably about um Maybe 20 pages in each, so that, that'll be like 80 sides in total. Most of the surfaces you can write on. There's plenty of writing space. It's a spot here with a lace trim. And this is a Prima card, just like a little image of a little, little girl. And another one. And the same papers, really. This is Shabby Cottage Studio and Sagita's Coffee Stains. Uh, squared paper. So the second signature is very similar to the first, it's a fabric ruffle, another vintage image, and a bookmark, 
uh, manuscript, plain paper, lined paper, uh, paper from a book pad, uh, ledger paper, and the centre of this signature's got a, an envelope style pocket, and again this is a Prima card, and here is an image from a, an old an old children's book, the book cover. Paper, lined paper, plain paper, more lined manuscript, shabby cottage studio, another tuck spot here with some a little bit of fancy stitching on there, another bookmark and another vintage image, uh, photograph image, lined paper, square, Sagita's coffee stains, and another tuck spot again with a bookmark, vintage photograph. A little flip up and some more fancy stitching on there, and then the ledger paper, and then in the back again there's another pocket, with another vintage photograph, and another uh, book cover image, which you can just uh, just some extra writing space really. So that it's about um, oh about six and a half by five something like that the measurements of the cover anyway and probably the signatures will be a little bit smaller so that's that one let's move on to this one which is um a very similar style just different fabric it's covered in lace lace trim on the top and around the bottom again it fa fastens with some um, seam binding which has been sewn on there with some of the linen fabric just to reinforce it. Uh, it's five hole pamphlet stitch and the, the front lace is made into a little pocket and there's a Prima card and a vintage lady image so this is um, this features a lot of uh, vintage lady photographs in here and again it's um, linen fabric rough edges um, sandwiched with a lightweight fleece and then some patterned paper pad paper on the inside and I've done the same again with the with the centre I've made a I've done it across to make two pockets and it also reinforces the spine so here we've got a nice uh, vintage photograph uh, this is part of a Prima card I had some of the big ones they were too big to go in here so I cut them I cut some of them up and that, that one makes a nice uh, like a bookmark. And the same papers as the other one really. You've got the ledger paper, the craft card, a little tuck spot there with some lace, it's a prima card, vintage photograph, and the same again, the shabby cottage studio, manuscript paper, Sagita's coffee stains, another little tuck spot with a little piece of um, applique on there. And that's a Another part of a Prima card that's been cut, cut in half to make a nice um, bookmark. And you can write on the front and the back. Oh, two photographs in there. I didn't re realise it was two. So another two vintage images. Vintage ladies. These are actually printed on a nice, um, like a linen card. Which is a nice uh, feel to it. Lined paper, plain paper, there's plenty of room for journaling in these and there's also lots of extra um, journaling spots in the cards and everything. And the centre's got the vintage um, ledger paper and there's another Artie Mays envelope in the middle of this one. And in here we've got another vintage image of a, that's not a photograph, that's just like a kind of a, a drawing type of image, I think. A little little tag with a bird on squared paper, lined paper some more fancy stitching on there on the back of this tuck spot with some lace another part of a Prima card a shabby cottage studio Sagita's coffee stains another little tuck spot with the lace 
another part of Prima cards that have been cut down to fit into this book. Just one with some general space on the corsets there. And then the second signature, very similar. Um, put that in there. So I've got that vintage lady, this is another Prima card. Lined paper, manuscript paper, a little fabric and lace tuck with a, another little Prima card in there. And the same papers again, Shabby Cottage, Sakita's Coffee Stains. Square paper, plain. Again, plenty of journaling. Plenty of space for journaling. The centres are made into an envelope pocket. And then here we've got uh, with some vintage ladies' headgear. Uh, a Prima card. And just an off-cut of paper and some extra journal in there. Ledge paper, plain, squared, lined. And so it's all both very similar in, in content, just the um, ephemera is different and the covers. Uh, Sagita's coffee stain, Shabby Cottage Studio, another truck spot with a nice vintage lady image. Um, and there's a little extra, a um, little tag, and there, a plique, lace applique. Manuscript paper, lined, another chuck spot, ledger paper, and in the back again another, this is made into a pocket with a lace trim, and in here we've got a Prima card and another nice image. So uh, that's them two, which are going to be going in my Etsy shop, probably later today. So yeah, I'm happy with them too they um nice feel with the fabric quite pretty and feminine um hope you like them thanks for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye